y'all, this is Jana Jojo and this week's video is all about me correcting false information that you all know about Arabs. And I don't really know how this false information, actually maybe it's from stereotypes, that's how people make things up. So yeah, but I hope that everybody out there knows that not all Middle Eastern Arab women are belly dancers and we don't all have shower and bath money and no, we don't have camels that guard our tents. Yeah. So let me get right into this video now. Oh, and by the way, for all the people that tell me I have a lot of energy and my hands move around quite a lot, and for the other people that tell me that I look like I'm on cocaine, I'm not on cocaine. I'm just a very happy person. And you know, my hands are everywhere because I'm Arab, and Arab people really need to use their hands when, when they, they're expressing their feelings and when they talk. So yeah, let me just get straight into this video. So, first things first, for the first time to all the Arab men out there, I am going to mention you in a video of mine, which is very weird because now I feel like I should make a video about Arab guys or Arab boyfriends or Arab dads or Arab husbands. I don't really know. I kind of like the idea. But first and foremost, not all Arab men pluck their eyebrows. Some people do, some people don't. But it is false if you think that all Arab guys do their eyebrows. Moving on. Not all Arabs are located in Saudi Arabia. What? And how do you know what Saudi Arabia is? Or how shall you refer to Saudi Arabia to a non-Arab person that don't know what Saudi Arabia is? You say Rihanna's boyfriend. No, Arabs are rich. I really know why everybody thinks Arabs are rich. Every time I say to somebody I'm Arab or I'm Palestinian, they're like, mm -hmm. you know, you're rich, but I am rich. I work a normal part-time job. I am a student. I am in debt. Now that is what I am. Have you ever heard of an Arab in debt? Probably not because you probably hear that they're rich all the time. And for everybody that thinks that Arabs are rich, I really don't know where you got that from. Because I'm going to throw some facts and figures out there. 7.4% of the Arab population are poor. And 90% of them are in Gaza. And the 12% that are left, they're in Saudi Arabia. And again, if you don't know where Saudi Arabia is, Rihanna's boyfriend. Not all Arabs are Muslims and I feel like everybody should know this by now because I've said it multiple times in previous videos. So I can understand why this one people would think that you know is true because it's a proper famous stereotype and honestly I would believe it. I don't really know why I would believe it but I think I would believe it if somebody told it me. So yeah but not all Arabs smoke shisha you know but I can tell you this for every Arab that doesn't smoke a shisha they know an Arab that does smoke shisha. And I know that I said a shisha in that sentence, but I'm just gonna totally ignore it and carry on. Cause I've said this way too many times. So yeah, let's just go. But don't get me wrong. We all know at least one person that does. You know what I mean? So to all the non-Arab people out there, no, we don't raise tigers as pets. I don't really know why you guys think I have the time, the money and effort to raise a cat. Not even a cat, a tiger. I barely have time to raise a cat. I barely look after myself. People, please, come on, get with it. And for any person that wants to marry an Arab because you think that they're loaded and you're gonna have tigers in your backyard, girl, rethink, rethink this marriage, rethink this relationship. We are Arab and not Arabic. And I'm, I'm really sorry, I'm about to crush some people's thoughts and intelligence out there. I don't think you guys are ready for this, but Arabic, it's a language. And you know what guys, sometimes we say no to falafel and you know what, sometimes we even say no to shawarma. I know that's very hard to believe but we sometimes do. We have a lot more nicer food than shawarma and falafel, like no offense to shawarma and falafel but I feel like they're very like lunchtime snack kind of foods. I don't know, I would consider falafel as a snack, I don't really know, that's because I really love food and I eat quite a lot but maybe other people class it as an actual like food food, like a dish, like a, like a, you know, proper meal, but me, it's just a side thing, it's just a side thing. Okay guys, so that is the end of my video, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yes, I know I had quite a lot of passion towards the end of the video, but it's because I genuinely was speaking from like deep, deep, deep down within, so I really understand why some people think some of these things, because they're completely false, like I wish I was rich, so the fact that everybody thinks that all Arabs are rich, but actually I don't come from a very rich family, or I don't have a very rich lifestyle, that kind of really bugs me because people automatically think I'm rich because I'm Arab, like... Mm -hmm. But anyways, long story short, I know I had a lot of passion in this video and I know that people are going to be tell telling me on the comments, in the comments down below that I look like I'm on cocaine, that my energy is too much, it's like I'm on cocaine, all this cocaine bullshit because I've seen it so many times in my comments. 
But y'all, I just want to state this one more time. I am not on cocaine. I do not do drugs. I am very, very, very halal. Minus the fact that I don't cover my hair. So yeah, um, I just wanted to ask you guys about future videos that I should make. So if you guys have any ideas, just put them in the comment box down below. But it's all peace and love y'all. Until next week. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment in the comment box down below, share this video and subscribe to my channel. So peace and love y'all. About myths that are revolved around Arab people or Arabs. No, myths. Hmm, I don't really know how to word that. Let's start again. Hey y'all, this is Jenna Jojo and this week's video is all about me correcting some false information about... Let me just answer my phone. Hello. No Arabs live in Saudi... No, 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 no. I feel like a lot of non-Arabs and non-Middle Eastern people ask this to Middle Eastern and Arab people. I don't need to keep saying Middle Eastern and Arab, so let me start that again. Mm. That's why I struggle. This is just, this is too much information. Let me just.